Good morning. We have lots of Christmas cheer this morning. We have already had hot cocoa. Hi. Oh no. <laughs> and we are making Christmas I gifts. The gave me. Yeah, use I'll get a couple more wipes. And now Natalie is using the light catcher kit and making some light catchers. Okay, let's flip them over and make sure that the the deeper side. All right, let me get you a new paper towel too. But she's already got a couple painted over here. So she's working on these. So for us today, it is officially less than two weeks until Christmas. And for you watching the video, it is less than a week until Christmas. So it is right around the corner. Time has been flying. It's been going so incredibly quick. I've got to get some more Christmas packages mailed later this week. Hopefully some of them are going to be arriving to our house. Um, but yeah, we are in the home stretch. So we are just excited to be doing some fun holiday things and take you along for the ride during Vlogmas. So the kids already had a hot cocoa bomb. They shared one of these. And I'm going to make the dark chocolate. They've been using the milk chocolate. I'm going to try one of these dark chocolate ones and see what this is like. So I've just put it down. I like using these clear glasses. We can see it explode. And then I'll just heat up water. I'm gonna just dump some water over it and watch it open up. So these are the hot cocoa or hot chocolate bombs that we got from the local shop that we visited. And I'm just pouring some hot water over it. And then it just will open up. And then there is some marshmallows inside. And it should kind of explode. There it goes. <laughs> These are really fun. And then when you just stir it around, it just mixes the chocolate in with everything else. You can use hot milk if you want, but we just like mixing it up with water. So there is my hot chocolate. So the, the um, dark chocolate is really, really good. The kids have been drinking the milk chocolate. This is the first dark chocolate one we've had. I wanna try to stop past there in the next week or two and see if we can find some other flavors, but they're really, really good. <laughs> really good, because that chocolate mixes around in the drink and it makes it even creamier. I have seen where you can make these at home too. It's just a matter of getting the molds and you know, figuring out how to melt the chocolate and get everything inside and all of that. But there are a bunch of tutorials around about how to make them on your own. So if you can't find them, that could be a way to do them at your house and be a little bit more economical too. Um, I had thought about trying it, but then I, you know, found out about this little local shop that had them and I thought it'd be kind of nice to support a local shop and we didn't have the molds and they're supposedly gotten really hard to find on Amazon. So rather than buying molds and that be the only thing that we use them for um i thought we would just kind of support someone and get a couple of them but they're pretty good and they're fun the kids like seeing them pop open so the best i can do is get it off my fingers and my hands you got a little bit on your face too buddy it's on your chin <laughs> <laughs> you did a lot of painting though so <sighs> we have some pretty christmas window catchers over here some light catchers and we'll let these dry and then we can put the suction cups on them and see what they look like. So she's still got a bunch of options over here that she can do at a later time. It came with a bunch of different styles and options to do. So there are some of the different. By the time you probably watch that video, it's probably going to be Christmas. When they watch this video, it'll be like just about a week until Christmas. Because now it's almost two weeks it's just under two weeks until Christmas, so when they watch this video, it'll be one week until Christmas, unless it's like way in the future. Um, oh, and she made this for her dad. We're letting this dry, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna help her wrap this up. So lots of holiday activities today. I'm gonna update these. It's 13 days till Christmas right now. <laughs> Penguin got a bath earlier, so he's tuckered out and snuggled up on the pillows over here and Isabella's playing some either Minecraft or Animal Crossing. Minecraft. It's getting her Minecraft time in. Cool. She's decided she came in and played You Minecraft. get some fire time in that you did all your painting. 
So I was actually just working on getting some editing done to try to get some Vlogmas videos posted that you guys just watched this past week. And I'm about halfway through, I'm on Wednesday, so I'm about halfway through the week, so that's processing. And I'm gonna go change gears and go see what we have for dinner because it is dinner time already. Today went phenomenally quick. I feel like I say that every single day. It's kind of crazy like to be like stuck in Groundhog's Day and where you do kind of like a similar thing every day, but it's still like time just still flies. Like, I guess this is what it's like to be retired. <laughs> because like, you know, you just like the time passes and here we are, it's like another day gone. So it's crazy. Um, I think we're gonna have garlic shrimp tonight, like the garlic shrimp pasta. I need to go look and see what else we have in there, but I think that's what I'm gonna make tonight. So I'm just heating some water up and we're gonna make some of this thin spaghetti. I'm gonna break this into pieces and put it in the water after it heats up. And I have this cocktail shrimp. We get these from Walmart. I'm just gonna put this in some butter and garlic and just some butter and garlic sauce with some seasoning and saute that all together and then just combine that with the pasta and that is just a really quick and easy dinner. So I'm just heating up some butter and garlic with some seasoning. I'm gonna put the shrimp in here and saute that. I'm just gonna put the spaghetti noodles into my boiling water here. And it can start cooking. And then I'm gonna put some biscuits into the oven. And they're just really good to kind of dip in the garlic sauce as an extra side. If I have the um, the red lobster biscuits, I would probably normally make those, but I didn't see any in there, so. Are you eating? <laughs> I'm like flinging spaghetti all over the floor and penguins eating it off the floor. <laughs> um, a little bit messier than usual. So I'm just taking the tails off the shrimp and I'm putting it into the sauce to saute. I obviously really like garlic, so I use a ton of garlic when I cook. So it's a good thing that people in my family like garlic. <laughs> so just mix it all together with some butter and this We'll be ready to go. I'm going to give everyone a biscuit as a side. White. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. <laughs> so, we are cleaning up after dinner and getting everything put into the dishwasher, we're gonna figure out something to watch as a family. But we're thinking that our joint like Christmas gift to each other is going to be a little mopping vacuuming robot. So if you have a mopping vacuuming robot that you really like, let us know in the comments which one you like and why you like that one. We're looking at which, there was one called Roborock Robo Rock S6. Yeah. It got like voted like best like mopping, multi vacuuming. Surface. Yeah, multi-surface, mopping and vacuuming robot. So that's one that we're looking at. There's obviously tons and tons of brands out there now, but with, you know, the dog and the dog hair, we just thought it would kind of be helpful let's, to let's help. Let's be realistic. It's, it's, okay, we're working and we don't want to deal with everybody, it. <laughs> everybody's tracking. Everyone's tracking everything. Which we're we working. Doing the no shoe thing. We don't want to deal with it. People need to quit wearing their shoes in the house. But, um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's what we're gonna do. So now we just gotta figure out which one we wanna get. So if you have one and you love it and it works well and it's lasted well, let us know in the comments so that we can consider that one. Or if you have the Robo Rock. If you have one and it hasn't worked well. And yes, it hasn't let us lasted, know that too. Let us know that too. If you yes, we wanna know that too. Um, if you have the Robo Robo Rock one, especially Robo Rock S6. Robo Rock S6. 
um, we'd be interested to hear if that was a win or not. They're not cheap. They're like, what, five or six hundred dollars? Well, it really depends. I mean, they're as low as like a, a couple hundred. Or like, I mean, there were some on here that were like under 200. Well, those are basically but just that's, But it's, so. it's like a, yeah, that's the thing is it's, yeah. it's all, you know, price comparative to you get what you pay for. So yeah. if you want something that's going to be to do like, both. You know, multi-surface that can do carpet, you know, travertine tile and, you know, hardwood. And we have hardwood and this tile and kind of like our main areas. Yeah. And there are and carpet and in the bedrooms. Yeah. yeah, and rugs. So we really have all of them. So. And penguin. And penguin, which we don't know how he's going to react to a little robot joining our family either <laughs> but i guess we'll find out <laughs> you want a new little robot friend Let me get you a new friend and go zoom zoom around the house hear the word friend <laughs> so we just ended up ordering the robot vacuum so we'll do a review on it when it gets here um and it should hopefully help with the floors and kind of keeping the floors clean and just being a little bit easier for everyone. So thanks for watching today and have a great day.